Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Becky and in this video I'll show you how to set up your first cheer lights circuit. Cheer lights is a global LED color sharing platform created by Hans Scharler in 2011. You send it a color and all the folks with cheer lights will see the new color on their own setups. It used to use Twitter but now you can control cheer lights using Discord. It's a super easy beginner IoT project. Keep watching to learn how to make your own. For this project, you'll need some RGB LEDs and a Wi-Fi microcontroller. I'm using a strip of WS2812 addressable pixels, also called NeoPixels, and an Arduino Nano ESP32 Wi-Fi microcontroller board. The first step is to make sure your Arduino IDE is set up for your Wi-Fi board, which in most cases requires installing another boards package for the ESP8266 or the ESP32, and any drivers necessary for your specific hardware. Since this is an Arduino brand board, the Arduino comes with support for it already installed. Then you'll need to install the NeoPixel library and open up the strand test example that comes with it. It's important to run a test sketch on your circuit to verify that you can in fact communicate with the board successfully. Connect your pixel strip to power, ground, and a data output. Then make sure your Arduino code references that same output pin. If all goes well, you'll see the pixels light up. Now you're ready to move on to the internet code. I got this code example from the Cheerlights GitHub, then updated my Wi-Fi network name and password, as well as the pixel pin to match my own. The code periodically checks for updates on the ThingSpeak channel used to communicate the Cheerlights color, then sets the LEDs to that color. That really is all there is to setting up the hardware and software for your Cheerlights project. The physical form is up to you. I put my LED strip in a piece of crinoline tubing, then twisted it up into a decorative knot to put on top of my Christmas tree. I made a second cheer light circuit using the tiny Pico board and a smaller strip of pixels inside a ping pong ball. But Becky, ping pong balls are flammable! Yes, technically ping pong balls can catch on fire, but not from these regular LEDs, no way. It's a common misconception that LEDs can get hot enough to set their diffusion on fire. Surely, some of the high power ones could, especially if you didn't heat sink them properly, but those are not your run of the mill LEDs. Here, let me show you how much it takes to actually set a ping pong ball on fire. The casual grazing of it with direct flame from a lighter doesn't do it, and you really have to hold the heat source right on it for quite some time. Admittedly, once it catches, it does keep itself burning for quite some time. They're made of nitrocellulose and camphor. But could cheer light start that fire? No way. You can get all the supplies for your cheer lights project at DigiKey, the sponsor for this video. Not only do they carry just about every Wi-Fi board and addressable LED product out there, but also the connectors, soldering tools and supplies, and last minute gifts because they ship super fast. Check out my favorite things video over on the DigiKey channel to hear my best gift suggestions. Having the cheer lights LED circuit around and noticing it change color is really fun, knowing that another person sent that color and is probably looking at their cheer lights right now and that makes more folks notice theirs and then send a color of their own. Cheer is exactly the word I'd use to describe the feeling of, hey, it's blue, then immediately pull out my device to send along another color in response, contributing to an ongoing color conversation. It really is super fun and easy, and I hope you'll give it a try. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. I hope you'll subscribe with the bell to be notified of my future uploads, subscribe to my email newsletter, and find me on your favorite social media platforms. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. This video was made with support from my sponsors and generous donations from viewers like you through Patreon and YouTube memberships.